There you go. Here we go. Here we go. It's time for another stream, guys. Isn't this fun? Come on, guys. Please, anyone. Please, just anyone join the chat at this point. Please, I'm lonely. All right, all right. Here we go. Today, today we're playing Minecraft, but look, I'm in a big jar. Isn't that funny, guys? Come on, please. Gotta start somewhere, you know. Gotta get, gotta get that crafting table. <laughs> got, got that copyright free music everyone loves. What do we have in here? Read me by Torpedo. World in a Jar Remastered. Hold on, let's let's check on my sound levels. How was that, huh? I'm probably blowing out everyone's fucking eardrums. Doesn't matter, it'll be fine. World in a Jar Remastered Summary. Sponges, Dimensions, Teleporters, Hardcore Settings, Creator's Note, and Credits. There's a sponge hidden on almost every jar of the map. Can you find them all? Both the nether and the end are custom made with jars. You can't make the portals yourself. However, I heard someone is selling the location of some old forgotten portals. That might still work. Teleporters. Since some jars are pretty far away, these teleporters might come in handy. Set up one. Place down a colored shulker box with a button on the top face. Down on the box, you should see some particles. Go somewhere else and do the above steps again using the same color. While standing on the box, click the button. You should be taken to the first box. Render distance below 30 chunks. Huh. Not change the game difficulty. Creator's note, thanks for playing the map. If you're recording a video, please credit me with the map link. Uh, sure. Neat. I'm not gonna open that. Credits. Original idea. GT Awesome Sauce and Bastia09. Promotional art texture. Bare bones. The name of this map is World in a Jar. It's available on Planet Minecraft. I think. That's where I got it right. Specifically, World in a Jar Remastered. Oh, it's available on Cruise Forge. Of course, everything's on Cruise Forge nowadays. Neato. Uh, uh, World in a Jar Remastered, uploaded by the gay. That's the owner, is. The underscore underscore gay. So look up that guy on Cruise Forge and you can find the map. Anyways, now that we've spent a good four fucking minutes reading the book, time to chop down the tree. Bash this lantern against it. Hope it doesn't start a fire. This lantern is clear on the bottom. My phone is yelling at me. It probably wants me to unplug it. Hold on one sec. Alright, the phone is unplugged. I have one viewer. Fantastic. Whoever you are. Welcome to the stream. I'm sure it'll be horrible. I'm very unentertaining. <sighs> I'm also tired and a bit fucking loopy. 
my head hurts a little, you know, peak streamer condition. As in just fucking, <laughs> I guess, non-functional member of society. Nah, that's too fucked up. That's too fucked up. I can't say that. The streamers are the nice people. They're the entertainers, you know? The people who take the shitty days that you all have and make them a little bit better. If anything, I'd say streamers are very functional pieces of society. And that they keep the fucking people who have, like, awful days, they help brighten them. You know? Help keep shit running smoothly in society by providing entertainment to, like, blind the masses away from how shitty things are becoming. You know? At least here in the US, that's what it feels like. I think that is enough wood for right now. I really need now is... Uh, probably a wooden pickaxe. Go down here and mine some. Look at the jars. Oh, looks like the cork fell out of that one. The fuck is this song? Uh, damn, this is a uh, this is quite a song. I do think it sounds nice, though. You know, I am I like a lot of different genres of music. You know, I don't like all genres. There are some that I don't enjoy that much. I don't like rap that much. It really kind of depends on the song, though, you know? I enjoy songs from a lot of different genres, but I don't, like, inherently enjoy any specific genre, you know? Understand what I'm trying to say? Probably not. I'm probably butchering my words horribly, but, you know. I like individual songs, and there are some genres that I like a lot of songs from, but I don't like, like the entirety of a single genre because of its genre. I think all genres have good and bad songs in them. Or well, it's not really my place to say if they're a bad song, right? It's really more just not my type of song. I mean, you know, I can see a song and object and say objectively that you know a bad song like the work put into it was not great it is like not very well put together musically like somebody just bashing away on a piano that's not a very put together song to be a song it may be like a put together art piece on whether or not like anything can be art you know blah 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 or how music works but it's not like a song you would listen to, just a guy randomly bashing on a piano. So... But like... You know... I think that any song that people legitimately try to put together is like a legitimate song. And I can't say that song is like, you know, a bad song. As long as somebody who knows what they're doing or is like experimenting, is attempting to put together something musical, then it's not really that bad of a song. But, you know, it's not always my type of song, the type of song that I would enjoy. And rap, rap does fall into a lot of that. I don't like that many rap songs. You know, 
there are definitely good ones out there. I've enjoyed some Eminem before. You know, I used to listen to Rap God. That shit was fun. I'd try to sing along at the speed of the lyrics, you know? I'm saying you know too much. But nobody's even watching, so it doesn't fucking matter much. But, uh... Yeah, that like fucking Rap God song. I thought that was pretty nice. I enjoyed that. I need to break all this fucking shit. Uh, if I can get more seeds, it'll translate to just more food. Probably the first goal is gonna be to like terraform this area some. Yeah, fuck. It's nice I started with a crafting table and a chest, you know? I'm rocking a few mods. Oh shit, hold on. Winning map on. What the fuck is that over there? Uh-oh. Oh dear, hold on. Let me, let me open up the... Oh dear. Yeah, that's uh... That's an error. I was playing a different map, and I think it just saves it based on the server map, not the world name. Uh, fuck, hold on. Is there a... Uh, I don't know if there's a way to reset that. Uh, oh well, if we can't reset it, it'll be fine. Uh, we could always try to get a fishing pole. I don't think I have any... Thing that I could use to make string. There might be shit down here. I should continue mining. All my crops grow. Or attempt to. Which one of these buttons puts me in creative mode? None of them. It's not cheating if the map does it to me, you know? Then I can do whatever I want. But then again, if it did actually put me in creative mode, I wouldn't want it because... What's the fucking point of doing that? This is a survival map. If I just go into creative mode, then it'll just be fucking boring. It's just building then. There's no point in surviving. Ah! What else do I need? To go down and continue mining, that's what it was. How far down does this go? I have no fucking idea. No clue. Uh... Might as well continue digging down in this direction. Bro, oh, this is limited. This is a limited resources map. So, I'm gonna set it up the way I like it, which is, uh, what's it called? 
keep inventory to true so if you fall into the void you won't lose important items and then like possibly soft lock yourself or whatever and game rule Bob mob griefing it's just called mob griefing it's not called do mob griefing for some reason F-A-L-S-E false here we go. Left a bit of sugar cane. Nice. You also have kelp. The grass is not very useful for us. I don't think we can make it spread either. Dad, I'm going to start far farming kelp. As some amount of kelp will be nice for food. I am going to starve to death. Unless I can get mob spawning or something. Fuck. I need an iron pickaxe for that. <gasps> There's some iron. A nice bit of iron to be specific. We're not going to be doing much platforming, so I probably don't need a bucket. We might need a bucket for moving water later, though. Hmm. That can do something there. A waste coal. What is coal used for? If I want to make fire charges, I'll need specifically coal. If I want to make campfires. If I want to farm bees, assuming there's a beehive somewhere. I will need coal for that. I don't need too much for campfires though, so I'll just pop some of that in there. I should also get wood production going, means I should finish taking down this fucking tree. This is a banging song. You guys are... Uh, all of my viewers are probably in a horrible pain right now watching me dig this with my fist. Fuck you anyways. Who needs you? I'm a strong, independent streamer. I don't need any viewers. I'll be fine by myself. I'm so lonely. Definitely gonna need this. I think we should save some of it though. God knows we might not get much more iron. Oh. Well then. Let's see what other ores we can find. Or iron, yay. If I can find some place with lava, then I'll be able to make a cobblestone generator. I may also be able to find villagers and trade. It, I thought it said on the page it had custom crafting, so... 
may very well be able to, you know, go and craft some custom things. Not custom. Can't even fucking talk. Custom trading with custom villagers. Which means we may very well be able to trade for iron. Did I fucking... Ah. No, wait, no, it did finish. I thought I pulled the iron out of the furnace and forgot to put it in, but I'm just stupid and forgot that I actually put it in the furnace. All the jars have little stoppers in the bottom. Oh, I think that's bedrock. I've officially run out of sprint juice. Go get a shovel for this. I have a lot of cobblestone. I can probably make cobblestone bottom slabs and maybe go over to the village. Maybe get over there. I don't really have the needed. There are chickens in that. Where? Not an iron shovel. There's a stone shovel. The first crafting slot. I'm fucking blind. That's what it is. Let's make a kelp farm. Oh wait, is that the base layer? I went down to it with the kelp. Yep, that is. Uh, break that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Up, up, up. There we go. May not be much, but it will be something I can eat. Is that what I think it is? That's a beehive. Flowers. Doesn't that just look fantastic, guys? All my zero viewers. Don't you just love this? Guess it's time to go on an adventure. Sweet berries. All right, it's time. Yeah, I can keep it at this level. Here we go. Now we begin the slow crawl. Over to the next fucking island. Well, not island, just a jar. Just a fucking jar. The fuck are we even doing? 
Well, not you guys. What am I doing? I'm playing fucking jars in Minecraft. Gave you too much, now I'm swallowed. Now I'm I wish I had food. <laughs> All right, we made it up. Hey, there's an Enderman there. Neat. There's a fox. Shit, there's a fox. I'm pretty sure you can get more berries if you break them when they're like this. Nice, 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 nice. Now you guys don't run out if I someday end up wanting to have foxes. You guys stay in there now. Won't ya? Time to begin the long way home. Let's take this all down one layer. I'm have the layer one deeper be the baseline layer. Gonna have to do quite a bit of terraforming in this map. I want to get big spruce trees. Bruh. Really? There's fucking shit wood stuck up here. A plus on the realism. Uh, A minus on being a fucking bitch. I guess I get more wood out of it. Maybe it's okay. But the fact that you have to like dig all around. I always hated that in trees, you know? Digging around to find that last black block of wood so it would all decompose. Maybe I'll make a mod that adds like a random block of wood to every set of leaves somewhere. Wouldn't that be fantastic? I bet everyone would want and love to play with that mod. Take something mildly annoying and make it worse. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Is there a fucking... I don't know if that has regular houses. Is there a blacksmith over there? If there is... 
I might be able to get lava there. And that'll be my fucking cobble generator. Up and running, you know? You know what I'm saying? Picking up what I'm putting down? Of course you're not. Nobody's watching. I finished my honey peppermint iced tea. Finally plant these. And then I'll theoretically start growing some food, an apple. How nice. Delicious. Are you not just going to drop any fucking saplings at all? Or, uh... Guess we have a single one. I care more about growing spruce trees, though. Let's clean up a bit more around here. Has my kelp grown at all? Yes. Is it enough? Probably not. Can't even tell if all of the plants have fucking kelp in them. All the spots do. I don't want to kill the fishes. I don't think you can breed them, but you know. If I can have a nice salmon pond, I guess. They're not koi. The 7% growth. Uh, let's see. I can continue taking this down while I wait for some food to fucking grow. Uh, more cobblestone and sticks. Second stone pickaxe. Alright, there is still grass. It will be fine. And now I can begin removing this giant cave entrance, I guess. Part of terraforming, you know? Look at how nice everything looks with like shaders and stuff. Look. That is obviously a circle with a cutout on it because there's no haze on that side. So it just looks like there's something in front of the moon, like a lunar eclipse. Dead. Hold on, let me take that and post it to the... I'm 
on the inside. Looking like it's waning. There we go. All right. My terraforming is going well. fucking koi pond, do I? I might just kill the fish and eat them instead. buttons. There we go. That was in fact not stone, that was still gravel. Kelp farm. Be my regular farm. Don't trample the seeds. Right here, I can have sugar cane. Finally, some amount of food. Not very much food, but still some. I say as I manage to fucking plant all of them. Spruce slab. Don't need fucking stones around here.
dirt to put there. Things are starting to look a little bit terraformed. Where is that? The dog is going nuts. Plant more seeds. Not done growing yet. Why did the music stop? There we go. Uh, let's see. Do I have any other food? No, I don't. I do. Have, I don't want lanterns. I want it to spawn mobs so I can fight them and maybe fish. Might be a fishing rod over there. For now, I want to go over to the fucking. Mm, what the fuck is it called? Village. Don't fall. Uh, this probably is not enough stone slabs. Yeah, I know. This is definitely not going to be enough. I'm gonna need, like, another fucking stack of them. In 40 minutes, 40 minutes of playtime so far. How fantastic. Still nobody's watching. Dog is going nuts in the other room as per usual. I just have to act like a crazy person and talk to myself. Isn't that the point of streaming? To act like you're actually fucking insane? Hey nice, it grew. About time I got a fucking axe. It would probably just be easier to just fucking craft things myself. I know all the recipes. And that wood is gone. How fantastic. Good old jumping strat. Windows is continuously improving. Another time. Don't restart my laptop. That's how I see chat. Not that anyone's fucking watching. Fucking stop that. There we go. Ooh. Actual psycho streamer. Talking to himself when nobody's in chat. Oh, mature. Nice. A single piece of wheat. I'm moving up towards bread. Jeez, that dog is going fucking insane. You guys probably can't hear it though. I don't think my mic is that sensitive. Or maybe you guys can hear it very, very loudly and violently. Who knows? Well, there's a desert. And there's something like a temple, I think.
I'm going to have to go and fucking, like, see what the fuck the dog is doing. Because either the dog is going nuts for something specific, or they're just going nuts because they don't think anyone's home, but I'm here. I should make a fucking fence gate. That way these fucks can't walk through the fence, the hole, and fall to their death. Well, our food is sorted out, at least for a minute. No, they can't leave through that. And on the plus side, you can just walk straight in. Alright, I'm going to fucking check on the dog. Because it's been going batshit for the past ten minutes. I have returned. <clears throat> I thought it said custom trades. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Let's see. Probably not. However, I will loot this place for everything it has to offer. Which is not much, apparently. These villagers are fucking poor. Emeralds for bread, paper, stone tools. Three emeralds for an iron axe. That's not bad. I could get iron armor from them. A blast furnace. That's pretty nice. An egg. Explorer. <gasps> there is. Compasses that lead to the nether portal, stronghold. Teleporter, a lodestone. Empty map, compass, clock. Bread, empty maps. Fucking carrots. Now if only I had like uh, another gold farm. <gasps> Potatoes. Carrots by themselves are not that great. However, this will definitely jump start a farm. Hey, there's the sponge. That's a trophy.
eggs. I have carrots, I might as well breed them. Ugh, new achievement. Already went in there and looked at that. I have, this is technically running on a server. So I do have a couple of plugins. One of which is brewery. I can make alcohol and get drunk. Fantastic, I know, all by myself. The other one is a custom coded plugin that allows you to like duplicate flowers with bone meal. And I think that's it. Fuck, man. Why does my head have to have a headache? <sighs> well, I have enough time for now. I mean, enough supplies for now been almost an hour of just playing this by myself so you know maybe I'll see if I can sucker someone else into joining the stream next time but I think I'm gonna end this here probably because my headache is slowly getting worse I hope this episode is more entertaining because I feel like I'm not funny by myself. So goodbye. Hope you enjoyed. All none of my viewers.